What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to part two of our series on how to get to the NFL. Part two, the following, what I'm going to talk about is going to be about how to handle yourself off the field to ensure there are no issues for if and when you have a chance to play in the NFL. Okay, one key thing you have to focus on whenever you're looking to play in the NFL if you're in college is your grades. Now you might not think it's that important because you don't necessarily have to have good grades to play in the NFL, but if you're coming from a Division three, Division two, or a 1AA school, it's going to be really important when the scouts come in that they can answer, you can answer questions and, and give them good information regarding your grades. They want to know if you're going to class. They want to know how your grades are. Not necessarily because of how if you're going to be eligible or not because that doesn't exist anymore. This is more about if you are able to be a pro, if you're able to listen, if you're able to get up and go to class. All that stuff is, is important and scouts sometimes will actually go and talk to some of your professors about how you handle yourself in the class so make sure you take care of business in the classroom. The next thing, you have to make sure that whenever you are in college, you're, you go to all the meetings, you go to all the lifting sessions, you go to every single thing that you have the opportunity to do so to get better and ultimately to show your coaches that you care a lot about playing college football. As a college strength coach, I get so many questions when scouts come in and talk to me. They say, what kind of kid is he? What kind of kid is he? How does he work in the, in the weight room? What kind of leader is he? Is he on time? Does he follow the rules? And all that stuff I have to answer truthfully because I don't want the scout, I want the scout to always to always be a resource to the scout. And if I give him false information on players that come and look at our players, it, it, it's misleading and then they won't judge my opinion in the future when I do have players who actually do that stuff. And this, I'm sure it's the same way wherever you're coming from. So you have to make sure that you're getting the stuff on time, you're going to all the events, you're doing whatever your coaches ask because ultimately your coaches are going to make the final call on if they believe you could play in the NFL or not. You, you definitely don't want your college coaches to say, no, he's not mature enough to play. You also never know when scouts are going to pop in during the season. They could come in the spring or they're definitely going to come in the spring if, if they think you're a prospect for next year and they're going to interview you. They're going to ask you questions or they're going to ask your coaches questions. They're going to come watch spring ball. They could, then they're going to, definitely going to come to practices during the season. So you have to make sure that you, you know you look presentable at those practices. You, you don't you not only play well, but you handle yourself well. You look the part. Um, you interact with your teammates in a manner that, that they, they like to see. You're not goofing around. And all that stuff comes to fruition whenever they're actually come, it comes down to the time where they're signing guys, they're signing free agents. You know what, I, I like this guy. He was a good player, but whenever I went to practice, he, he just he wasn't handling his business. And that can come back to haunt you. So you have to make sure in the spring and definitely during the season that you're number one, you're at every practice. I mean, that goes without saying. And you're doing your best to, to represent yourself as a potential pro at practice. If you're fortunate enough to get interviewed by a scout during those times, during the spring or during the season, you have to make sure you handle yourself like a pro, like I just referenced. You have to shake their hand, look them in the eye, um, answer all their questions truthfully. If they ask you if you've been in trouble in the past, or if they ask you how things are going, when they ask you about certain people in your life, if they're still in your life, because I see scouting reports all the time about uh, you know, say one of your brothers from, or one of your friends from when you were younger, one of your best friends is in prison. Though, though they can ask you stuff like that, and you have to answer, answer truthfully because they ultimately know all the answers to begin with. So just be as honest as you can, and always be prepared for the for those interviews. And, and on your end, ask questions to them. What can you do to get better? What can what can I do to ensure that you come back or and get their information? You can bounce questions off them during the process to make it a little bit easier for yourself. The last and final thing is social media. Now, we're blessed to live in a generation where you can put anything you want online, and, but what you have to understand is not, not everything you put online is going to be looked at the way you initially thought it was. Like a tweet you say might get manipulated into meaning something else. Um, something you retweet, you might think it's stupid, but things you retweet or repost are ultimately looked at as your own beliefs, even if it's somebody swearing or some uh, rap video that has explicit lyrics. That's something that you want to definitely get away from if you're pursuing to play professional sports, not just football, or if you're pr 
preparing to be a professional, which all of you are. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you want to be successful someday. You can't represent yourself online as, as someone who has character issues or someone who's a loose kin that will post things. You know, you'll see, you'll see athletes after a game post, I wish I would have got the ball more. Tough loss, but what, I didn't do anything to help. And if you post things like that, it's going to end up hurting you. Your tweets that you've had in the last five, six years, your Instagram posts, your Facebook posts, who you're friends with, who you follow, all that stuff is under the microscope. So you want to make sure you clean all that up. Like I said, if you if you plan on pursuing football, um, you, that's one thing you definitely don't want to have cost you is how you represent yourself online. The last and final thing, your past can come back to haunt you. I've seen, I've been doing this now for about six years, NFL draft prep, and, and I've worked with players who had a completely clean record, or so they thought, and when it, whenever they were signed to teams, things they did in high school or college caught back to them. You have to make sure that, all, that your record is clean. So if you're planning on pursuing a professional football career, you have to make sure that right now in your life, if you're a, in high school or if you're a freshman, you keep your record clean because you don't want the things you do now to come back and haunt you. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I really appreciate it. Part three next week. Feel free to tune in, comment, message us if you have any other, uh, any other videos you'd like to see us talk about.